This is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and today I'm going to break down what should be a whole lot of fun. It should be a game. People are going to have a tough time figuring out what's going on. Uh, it's a game, the Texas Bowl being played in Houston, Texas, between Kansas State and LSU. Both teams love to recruit in this area. So uh, a lot on the line here. This game is being played on Tuesday, January 4th. Now, before I break down and predict this game for you, let me let you know what's going on at Paramount Sports. Uh, through the holidays, you want to hop on board. Last year, we had a great run. From the first bowl game through the Super Bowl, we won 27 of the last 36 games. You can hop on board our Double Down December special. How about this? Normally, $297. Use coupon code SAVE200. Just $97. That goes through December 31st. You want to go through the Super Bowl? Normally, $497. Use coupon code SAVE300. Just $197. Both those specials are available. ParamountSports.com or call us here at the office, 800-400-9741. Now, on to this game being played after most of the major bowl games and before the national championship. Kansas State laying one to one and a half versus LSU. Now, Kansas State fired their offensive coordinator, Courtney Messingham. So what are they going to do? They're going to go with former Kansas State signal caller, Colin Klein's going to call the plays. And I think that he's going to be aggressive. I think he wants to have fun. Uh, remember, he was a great running quarterback. He's all for being wide open. They did run 59% of the time this year. So might see more pass plays, especially with Skylar Thompson. I believe he will play in this game. He was injured over the last couple of weeks of the season, but it looks like he'll play. There's no reason not to play and no reason not to run him like he did early in his career because this is the last game of his career. And I, I would be very shocked if he even gets an NFL tryout. So all everything everything's off the table. I think they'll let it all go. Other side, LSU. No quarterback Max Johnson. Remember, he was the backup, and then he ended up taking over um, when their starter got hurt. He entered the transfer portal. Only one scholarship quarterback remains. That's true freshman quarterback Garrett Nussmeyer. He has already burned his red shirt, played him four games. So if they decide to play him, the NCAA at the time of this taping has not made a decision. I can't see them letting him play. He already played in four games. A rule's a rule's a rule. So if they play him, he loses a year. And I don't think they'll do that. Maybe they go with walk-on Tabion Falk or another walk-on Matt O'Dowd. But they might even go with wide receiver uh, Gentry Kirk Kirkland. Here's a guy that, you know, good athlete, but not really a trained quarterback at this level. So, Ed Ogeron, remember, is gone. He's already left. Um, offensive line coach Brad Davis will be the interim head coach here. Brian Kelly's the named head coach. He'll probably be sitting up in the press box. And only a few assistants hung around. So, I think there's more motivation here for Kansas State. means a lot if they win this game. Bowl games, motivation is number one. Not two or three number one to these teams. So close game, I'll go with the motivating uh, factor, factor here. And also Kansas State, I think they're better coached here. Love their coaching staff. Kansas State, lay the one, one and a half. They win in a pretty low scoring game, 24-17. You want to hop on board and start winning for the holidays? Just one way, ParamountSports.com.